The case spanned multiple countries and more than a decade. But after just three days of deliberations, a Montreal jury found Sami Babawi guilty on all charges, including corruption of foreign officials and laundering proceeds of crime. I think that the message generally is that um, we'll take Canada takes seriously its obligations and um, all offenses committed. Key to the Crown's case, star witness Riyad Ben Aisa, another former SNC executive. He testified that to secure lucrative construction projects, he set up a shell company to reward Libyan officials, including the son of dictator Muammar Gaddafi. He said that was all approved by Babawi, his superior, who pocketed about $26 million from the scheme. Babawi's lawyers argued those weren't kickbacks, but bonuses. But it wasn't enough. The jury decided that Mr. Badawi was uh, guilty. Sentencing arguments are expected this week. Babawi could face up to 14 years in prison. The company itself is also due back in court this week for the federal case at the heart of a government scandal earlier this year. SNC-Lavalin lobbied the Trudeau government for a deferred prosecution agreement. The Prime Minister's office in turn repeatedly asked Attorney General Jody Wilson-Raybould to grant one, amounting to improper pressure and an ethics violation. Babawi's conviction doesn't mean that case against SNC-Lavalin is a slam dunk. Maybe it gives extra confidence to the prosecution, but then again, we don't know what the exact story is for that second trial, what the evidence is. But this latest verdict does show Canada is doing a better job of holding companies accountable, according to experts. Since we first adopted an anti-bribery, foreign anti-bribery law in Canada in the late 90s, we've had four convictions. and. It shows a very bad record. We've had pressure from our international peers to be doing better. That federal case against SNC-Lavalin is expected to go to trial sometime in the new year. In a statement, the firm said that it will not comment on court proceedings past or present and that it's focused on doing its business. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.